praying to silence. I already knew a little bit about Taiwan through Ang, uh, you know, and, and through the movie Lust Caution and, you know, understanding the, 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 the history of, of the Kuomintang and all this stuff. And, uh, and then to actually uh, be here and, uh, you know, it's, it's been quite something to, to learn more about this, this country. Well, uh, overall, we really found some amazing places to, to film here in, in Taiwan, uh, even from the first time uh, I came here to scout, I was very impressed with uh, what we saw. Uh, it was even sometimes difficult to decide, you know, what would be best for one scene or the other, especially on the coast. Uh, there's so many scenes in the movie where the, the, they're either arriving to the beach, supposedly to Japan, to Tomogi village, and, and, or then they're leaving, you know, to, from another beach to go to this other island called Goto, you know, so we needed a lot of beach, beaches or, and uh, areas like that, or there's a, a scene with a crucifixion in, in the shore, you know, so um, Taiwan really offered us a great variety of, uh, of uh, ocean fronts, and uh, that was excellent. Uh, while the end, you know, is, for example, for me stood out as, as a place where um, with the caves and the w dramatic water hitting the, the rocks and uh, all this was a great setting for the, the place where the priests uh, hide when they first arrive in these caves. And we also use this for, uh, for the scene where the priests witness a crucifixion of some of the villagers. And uh, when we scattered that with Corsese, he immediately said, this is where the crucifixion should happen, and, um, which was uh, very complicated technically because it was simply dangerous to, to shoot there. So um, to have the actors right in this uh, water that was you know, crashing into the rocks. So uh, another thing that Taiwan uh, offered us uh, to solve this problem of the safety of the actors in this location was that we were able to shoot in the uh, water tank in Taichung, and, and that was also very, very valuable to us as a filmmaking team. But I really do hope that uh, a movie like Silence uh, makes people see how amazing this place is. I uh, hope that inspires people to say, oh, Taiwan, really? Let's go see, let's go check it out. When I first moved to the United States, one of the first uh, directors I started collaborating with, with was uh, Oliver Stone. Um, and we, we started preparing a movie that he didn't direct in the end, but uh, we started s scouting and we went to Africa to refugee camps in Kenya, Ethiopia, and Sudan, and uh, had some kind of scary experiences, especially in Sudan. You know, things that I would have never even expected, you know, when I went to film school, to imagine myself in, you know, a guerrilla controlled territory in southern Sudan, and uh, they, they had to teach us how to know when an airplane, how uh, the pattern of the flight of an airplane, where they're going to bomb you, how to hear, listen to that, and go into the bomb shelters, you know, and. <laughs> Uh, things of this sort, and they were being pointed at with a machine gun because they thought we were, you know, someone else. And yeah, with Oliver Stone, I've, I've lived many of those experiences. Also, later we did a documentary in, um, in Palestine uh, about the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, and uh, we interviewed, you know, terrorist organizations and uh, all sorts of things, and that was pretty scary too.